Hey, how's it going guys? Wonafo here, and today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to exploit on Roblox for free. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a safe executor for PC and mobile, how to find the best scripts for that executor, how to use it and also use the scripts, and also how to prevent scams and bans. And as you probably already know, Roblox recently released an anti-cheat that made almost every executor detected. But with this method I'm going to show you in this video, you can avoid ever getting banned and completely bypass the anti-cheat. And for that, we're going to be using VegaX, which has been around for over 5 years and it's never been detected. It has an 100% UNC score, so it can run any script you put into it. And the keys on this exploit last two times as long as every other executor on the market. And on top of that, there's a PC Connect version right here, which I'm going to be showing you how to use in this video. And this whole video is going to have timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a specific part. So the first thing you have to do is download VegaX. It's going to be in the first link in the description at VegaX.gg. Just click on this big red download button here. Click on visit a page. And it's going to show you the Vega X Premium Store where you can buy a lifetime key for only $20. And I definitely recommend you guys get this because it's been working for years and years and years now and it's never going to get detected. So really good investment here. And once you clicked on that, click on unlock link and you're going to get the download link right here. Now you have to go to the second link in the description, which is going to be for this Moomoo Moo Player emulator right here. And this emulator just updated to look exactly like a PC. You can't even tell this is an emulator right here, but it actually is. And the reason we're using this Android emulator is because there's no anti-cheat on the Android version of Roblox. So I'm going to show you how to set up all of this stuff if you stick around. First thing you have to do is click on download. And now you're going to have the Moomoo Moo Player for Windows popped up right here. So just click on download for Windows. And as you can see, now it's right here in the top right. I'm going to open this up and then click on install now. It's going to load for a second. Alright, here we go. We have this open. I'm going to click accept. And now it's going to open up Moomoo Moo Player immediately for you. And the first thing you want to do is go to the link that you downloaded from VegaX.gg earlier, copy this link, paste it in your browser, and it's going to download the VegaX APK file for you right here. And all you want to do is go onto to Moomoo Moo Player, click on these three dots in the top right, click on More Tools, and then click on APK Installation. And once you do this, just head over to the Downloads folder and open up your VegaX file and it's going to install it right here for you. You can also just drag and drop the file right onto Moomoo Moo Player. It's going to do the same thing. Or if you don't want to waste space on your PC, you can just copy this link, go into Moomoo Moo Player, open the Chrome browser in here, and just paste it into here, and you can download it straight from Moomoo Moo Player. So this is going to be the same thing. It's going to download it and open it from here, and there you go, you could do it. So yeah, either three of those methods to get this Roblox app, and this Roblox app has VegaX built into it. So now all you have to do is open it up and then click on this checkbox because this is going to allow VegaX to have access to the Roblox. Go back. And once you signed in, it's going to look something like this. And now I'm going to show you once you join up into a game what this actually looks like. So let's load up into Prison Life just to test this out. And the first thing you have to do is get your key for VegaX. So you can either buy the premium key, which I would recommend you do. Or you can get a free two day key, you just have to get it every two days. So if you get the premium one, you click this button, paste it in your browser, and you can get them right here from the store. Really really cheap, cheaper than any other executor on the market. Or you can click on this get two day free key option, and if you paste this link into your browser now, on the main chrome of your computer, on your main browser, it's going to open up this page right here. You want to click on continue, and then once this page loads, just click on get link open it. It's going to bring you to checkpoint two out of three. Click continue. Just click get link again. Open. And now we're on checkpoint three of three. And if you're having any trouble on this key system, just click this green button. It's going to switch to your Loot Labs version, which is a different ad service. Click continue. And then once again, click on get link. And then click on open. And now you have your key right here. I'm going to copy this key. As you can see, it lasts for 40 hours. You're going to go in here, paste it in, click enter, and then click on check key. And now that you have this loaded up, it's going to load up the actual Vega X menu for you here. As you can see, we have the executor, which has 100% UNC, so it can run any script you put into it. It has over 10,000 scripts built into the script hub for any game you can imagine. As you can see, I can just look up infinite yield, which is a really popular admin command script, and it's going to load it up right here for us. As you can see, we can do like fly, we can do no clip, 
We can go through the walls. You could do whatever you want. I could also use scripts for any game as you saw at the beginning of the video. Blocks fruits, grow a garden, anything you can use. And now to make this emulator run as smooth as possible and look exactly like a PC, what you want to do is go into the three buttons in the top right of Moomoo Player, click on device settings, and the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the performance set to high. You want to force use of discrete graphics card. And here's the most important part if you want to make it look very, very good. So change this to either, you could just click this if you want a quick fix, but I'd recommend you go to custom and do 2560 by 1440. And then change the DPI to 240. And with these settings right here, it's going to look amazing. You can also change the FPS higher if you want to. And besides that, you don't really have to change much. I personally like to get rid of their custom cursor. And that's basically all you have to do. You can change the phone it's using. But once you've done this, just restart the emulator. And then you want to click the F11 key on your keyboard to make it full screen. Click on Roblox. And from here, your experience is going to be basically just like you were on a normal computer. As you can see, all the menus here look exactly like they would on a computer. You can join Prison Life. It loads super quick as you can see, we can join the prisoner team, you can move, you can sprint, your mouse works perfectly fine, and yeah, very very cool. And the PC controls, I literally, if you put me in front of a computer, I could not tell you if this was an emulator or just a normal Roblox. But as you can see, it is definitely an emulator, and the button that you actually use to control the Vega X UI is this button right here, the logo. You can click on it to open and close the menu. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Windows version of Vega X on your game. And the first thing you want to do is go back to VegaX.gg, first link in the description. But this time you want to click on download for Windows. Click on this right here. And it's going to open up this menu right here, this website. You want to click on the big blue one right here. None of the other buttons, just click on this. Download now. Click continue to download. And it's going to open up this right here. What you want to do is click Control J on your keyboard. And that's going to open up this menu right here. Now you want to click on these three dots and click download on verified file. It only does this because it's a new file and Chrome doesn't recognize it. Now you can open up the get file now link. And don't worry, file DM is trusted. It's been used for years now. Click on this, click on more info and click run anyway. And now it might ask you for a yes or no, just click on yes. And now you have this right here. This is the download manager. Click next. You can choose to uninstall or install these things. Opera GX is actually a pretty good browser, but I'm just going to uncheck it. Uh, I'm going to uncheck this, continue, continue, and then I'm going to click open file. And once you have this link here, copy it, paste it into your browser, and just click enter. And now you're going to have the Vega X instructions right here. This is for the PC version. So definitely read these instructions. The first thing you want to do is download Vega X. So right here, it's a mega.nz link for the file here. You want to click on download. It's going to download it for you. There we go. It downloaded super quick. Now I'm going to click on this file that just got downloaded. And as you can see, it has this zip file or .rar, whatever one you have. Basically, all you want to do is go to your desktop on your computer and just drag and drop this file directly to your desktop. Just like this. It's going to load up. There we go. Now you can close out of everything else you just opened and you should have this file right here, Vega X dev mode. And before you actually open Vega X, I forgot to mention this, but you might have to disable your Windows security if you haven't already. Go into the Windows security settings, click on your virus and threat protection. And there's only one thing you have to disable here. It's going to say real time protection and you just want to disable that. And I already have mine completely disabled, but you just want to disable real time protection on your on your Windows security. Once you've done that, you can actually open up Vega X. You also have add scripts here. I'll show you that later. But you can open up Vega X, run anyway, completely safe. It's actually open source, so you can see the code yourself. And yeah, so here it is. This is Vega X. You have the menu, some script tabs you can do, the script hub here where we can search for any script. For example, for prison life that we were just in, we can use this. And the first thing you want to do with this is click on the inject button. And you want to copy this code right here. This is your inject code. Go back into Moomoo Player, click on settings, and paste in your inject code right here, and then click enter. And once you click enter, you want to click on this arrow right here. 
And as you can see, now the button is green for dev mode, which means this executor is now connected to our Mumu player. And let's try to execute something here. Let's use Priz admin. There we go. Now we have this Priz admin script loaded up. Now let's test this out. I'm going to type in kill aura. And now everybody who walks next to me is just going to immediately die. This is pretty funny. Every time they get out of their thing, they're just dead. Speed 100. Now we could just speed around and kill literally everybody in this game. But yeah, so this is the PC version of Vega X. Really cool. You can save files, open files. You have some settings you can change, like keeping it on top. You can make it transparent. Tons of stuff you can do with this, and it's completely undetected, you have to remember. So yeah, you're never going to get banned for using Vega X. Some of the PC executors that are out right now are getting every one of their users banned, and also they don't even run all the scripts properly. So I definitely recommend you guys use Vega X, and of course, if you want to use it for a long time, I'd recommend you get the, one of these premium keys, because everybody who's bought one of these has been super happy, they have 5 star reviews, and it just lets you use Vega completely without any ads, and every time a new update gets released, you can message me, and I'll send you the download with no ads. And now I'm going to show you how to use some extra features on Vega X like auto execute and running multiple devices at once. So starting off with auto execute, basically what this is, is it runs a script every time you load up into a new game. So it's really useful for auto farms. And here's how you do it. So you want to open up the gadget thing, scroll, click on a maze, open up this app and grant permission, click on this checkbox, go back. And now you want to scroll down in the internal storage app and find Vega X folder, open this up, open up auto execute. And then click on the plus right here, click file. So I'm going to name it admin commands create. Now we have this, we can open it up with the MA's text editor and just type in your script right here. So I have mine right here. Do you want to open this, paste it in and save it and to say done. And then we join and then the Vega X UI loads. And then right when the main menu loads here, Boom, our infinite yield script loads up right alongside it. So that's a pretty cool thing you can do there with the auto execute. So now that you have your executor, the best way to find safe scripts for any game is to either go to my website at 1fo.io, or I do a ton of videos for every game, or you can actually use the Vega X built in script hub because these scripts are sourced from our friends at Script Blocks, which actually check every single script that goes into it for safety. So, for any game here, let's say I was playing Grow a Garden, you can type in the name of the game, click enter, and we have all of these scripts for basically any game. Like, you just keep going through the pages, there's just so many. Another way you can find scripts is by going to other trusted YouTubers. So, of course, I'm only going to show you guys undetected and safe scripts made by trusted developers. There's a ton of other people you can check out on YouTube. Make sure they're legit. For example, this is my favorite admin command script. I'm going to click on the load string. You want to copy the script. Control C. Go back into the exploit. Go to the executor. You can either click paste and execute or paste it in. Click enter and then click execute. And it's going to open up the script for you right here. If you want to open and close any of these menus, just click on this right here. As you can see, and if you want to close the whole Vega X menu, you can use this. You can also move around this button wherever you want. And yeah, now we have our admin commands. So really cool. That's exactly how you use Vega X. And if you want to prevent getting banned completely, basically Vega X is undetected in any game. It's undetected by Roblox. But if you're using a script that's detected in a certain game, like let's say this script was detected by Prison Life, then Prison Life can ban you from just their game. So the best thing I'd recommend you guys to do whenever you execute a script on a new game, specifically like Blocks Fruit, Steal a Brain Rot, uh, Adopt Me, anything like that, you want to join their Discord server and check if the script is updated. So they're going to always be making updates there. You can also check if people are making videos on it online. There's also some things in scripts that are like going to kick you when a moderator joins. So whenever an admin joins the game, it'll kick you so they can't actually ban you. And yeah, just stay safe. Definitely don't download weird random executors that are coming out of nowhere. There's also a ton of executors, especially PC executors that are coming out lately that are promising to be undetected and then they're going to sell you a key and then boom, they just get detected and shut down. So if you want to be completely safe, Vega X has been up and running since April of 2020. I've been making videos on it for literally five, over five, almost six years now. And yeah, so really, really cool. Definitely fully undetected, fully working in 2025 and completely free if you want it to be. 
So yeah, and by the way, if you're trying to download Vega X on an Android device, it's really, really simple. You just go to the same link, visit the page again, and when you go back here, just download this link right here onto your phone and install the app. And it's just going to be just like you installed Roblox, except when you log in, Vega X is going to be loaded up into the menu. So literally just one step download, install the app, and you're done with a mobile device. So it only works on Android right now, not on iOS. But yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.